Oops, I missed. Hey guys, so so welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something different than unboxing gadgets from Apple or Google. Today I'm going to make my own gadget. So let's make a piggy bank, which is not really a piggy bank, out of a cardboard box uh, that e like uh, takes in the coins by itself. So we will need this cardboard box, an Arduino, an Arduino base terminal, a servo motors. Um, wire, a uh, battery, uh, the Arduino power cord, and a knife. And yeah, so let's begin. So I'm gonna unpack these. Uh, the, what the heck happened to my knife? Um, so I'm just gonna use a rip line. Won't work. Okay, finally. I unpacked my Arduino Nano. So here you could see it. These are the legs, just in case. Um, so I'm gonna clear off all that stuff. I'm gonna... I'm gonna somehow open this thing. Try to cut that with my knife. Okay, good. Oh, that's no good. Okay, I made a hole in my thing. So, here, I'm getting it out. Here I got a bunch more Arduino legs. So uh, you're, by the way, you're also gonna need a soldering iron to make the legs go in here. I'm gonna put this together. I'm just gonna show you what it's gonna look like when it uh, when it gets put together. But then I'm gonna like solder it together. So I put in my legs. Okay, that's not good. I guess I'm just gonna put my legs in here first and then I'm gonna put my ironing, you know, on top. Um, so, I put this thing in here, like first legs, and then the other legs. So, I already finished uh, soldering in my legs. And so I just wanted to explain what an Arduino is. It is great. Uh, it is a great platform for hardware and projects. It is great for robotics and electronics for kids 10 and older. So I want to show you how to power it up. So here I got two wires, black and red. So I'm going to put one wire into G and D and the other one into V I N. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver to unscrew these. Um G and D first. So the reason I got this board is that so I don't need to solder as much. So I like, can Oops, I got the wrong one. Okay, good. Um, so here I screwed it in. So now I'm gonna put my red wire into VIN. And Okay, see I got these two in, and I'm gonna 
screw the red thing in and then my I take my battery um I'm not sure so I'm gonna plug in the red into the red and black into black so basically basically G and D into red and then uh, I mean no uh, V I N into red and G and D into black okay it came out which is horrible and then I insert it again and then I just tighten it as hard as I can. Um, and then G and D into black. And then the V I N into red. So you could see, as you could see, there is a red light on the Arduino flashing. Uh, it's not flashing, uh, well, it's lit up. Okay, so right now I'm gonna make a hole in the box for the coin to go into. So I'm gonna like start by marking the way with my knife. So I'm gonna like cut it out. Right now I'm gonna like cut the hole in the box. So I'm gonna like start. It's a hard job. I'm just gonna do that, I guess. The next step is that we're gonna put two resistors into this lid. So um, I'm gonna put them in right now. Okay, so this is what I came out with. See these two copper wires? Like they're not copper, but whatever. And then this is the bottom of my lid. So the, this coin will close the whole circuit. And then Arduino is gonna react. I have to place the go uh, the coin on these two wires. See, so uh, it's gonna close the circuit, and then Arduino is gonna react. Uh, and uh, like the servo motor will like spin, like uh, 45 degrees, I guess. And then the lid is gonna go down, and uh, like the coin is gonna fall into the box. So yeah, let's connect the wires yeah, as the scheme shows. Um, so I'm ready now. Uh, it took me about a few hours and I finished my soldering. And then here's what it looks like inside. So here's the servo motor. You can see it. Uh, the Lego brick that connects uh, the servo motor to the a uh, uh, ring of cardboard um uh, the arduino itself and then the wires pretty messy right definitely messy and yeah so i'm gonna do the last step i'm gonna like tape it up um so i'm taping it up right now you can obviously see that and yes. Okay, here I found my scissors. Um and yeah. So right now I'm gonna connect my battery. Black is G and D and red is V I N. Right here. And so I'm gonna connect it right now. Yeah, so yellow goes into black because it was plugged into GND. I just don't wanna mess anything up. Um, and yellow goes into VI, I mean not yellow. Green goes into VIN, yellow goes into GND. And then, okay, so I made my thing be upside down. So here my battery is connected now. It's right here. Um, 
but okay. <clears throat> okay, so here's the metal circle. You can see there's two wires. Um, and drum roll, please. Let's see what happens. What the heck? Why isn't it working? Okay, I'm gonna try a different coin. Saw that? Try again. Uh, this one won't work. Copper is better. Let's try again. And one last time. Now we're gonna try like one more time. Okay, good, it works. I'm gonna try it one more time. And that's it okay as you can see it works so yeah this was the piggy bank which is not really a piggy bank and so yeah i'll see you in the next video bye oops i missed and i just wanted to tell you something that in the next video i'm gonna like uh, convert put all this messy stuff into a different box uh, as you can see, I laser cut the details. Uh, so here's my new laser cut box. Uh, and so yeah, I'm gonna put all this uh, junk into a nice cut box. So yeah, uh, so stay tuned. Press the subscribe button. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.